Hello, Buddy Audubon of Innovations, Triple J here, here to show you the new features in Inventory Buddy version 5 that's currently in beta. We'll go ahead and go to our handheld first. We've got an 07 Malibu here that we want to take a look at. We'll go ahead and select parts on that. It's going to bring us right to our stock ticket record. This is set up for PowerLink right now. That's the same. Our common option codes comes up next. What's new in version 5 is that you can actually tie your common option codes to your 20 questions in PowerLink so that they'll be the same and upload those to your PowerLink system as well. And as we go into part selection here, you'll notice a few new features I'm sure already. We've got this new zero entered one max and this new bid buddy here. As we scroll through our parts, any parts that are matched with our bid buddy as we bid the vehicle will show as a yes bid buddy or a no bid buddy. So this uh, bidder said that this hood was bad on the car. And as we scroll down, we'll see that our engine assembly coming up next is a good part. So the yes button got replaced by bid buddy to let us know the bidder said yes. I can click on that and we'll notice that right away this button has turned green. It's actually scrolled to this interchange option because this interchange number matches what was selected on the bid buddy. And it also says bid buddy match right there and the rest of their options have turned red. So hopefully this will help save the inventory person some effort in identifying the correct part. And on our pricing screen here, we can see that our BidBuddy actual price has showing here of 368, and the suggested price from BidBuddy was 368, and that suggested price came from our interchange previously bid field. On our history tab, in addition to our normal worksheet dismantler uh, history, we also can see the BidBuddy history. Uh, so this shows you not only uh, your local quantity on hand and your local requests, but also integrates the APU requests as well as APU average quoted price, APU's average selected price, and the URG core values as well. It's a little more information there for you to help you do your job better. Also with PowerLink systems, we've got the e-commerce fields integrated now, so you can give an e-commerce description, as well as block the online sale if you wanted to, to do that. I'll go ahead and save part, and if I back up, we'll now see that this says one enter, one max, and it's turned red to let us know that we've already entered the maximum number of suggested engines this vehicle should have. Hopefully it's only got one. So we can go through here. I'll say no a few more times here. We'll look for a core part. So right here we've got airflow metered with core showing up. It's showing a $10 core value. So not only do we integrate now with uh, MC or with uh, RASCorePro.com, we're also integrating with MCI cores as well. So I'll go ahead and check off this $10 core part. And if I go to description now, you'll see it says save as an MCI core. So you have the option to use RAS or MCI, but not both at the same time. So one or the other to let you use your core values as your inventory. So that is some great integration as you're, work, as you're working in Inventory Buddy. Also with PowerLink 2, you can set up your worksheets to walk around the vehicle. So you can set it up to do the left side of the vehicle and then the, the rear and then do the right side and back to the front. So you don't have to worry about doing left front door, right front door, left rear door, right rear door. You can do your left side all the way around and then do your right side later. So that's a new feature in the inventory buddy as well. So after our dismantler, I'll go ahead and show you our improved final desktop review program. So inventory buddy has been integrated to look more like our bid buddy. And uh, we'll go to the final desktop review. We've got this Impala that we can take a look at. And all the parts for this Impala are showing up here. And you're probably seeing a few more tabs. So we've got pictures of the vehicle. So if we took some pictures of the car, we can attach those. We've got some great pictures of uh, Waffle House and Chick-fil-A from our trip down to ARA. And uh, so when I upload this vehicle, this Impala, to PowerLink 2, it will automatically upload those pictures to PowerLink for me as attached to the vehicle. And with PowerLink 2, we can attach pictures to the vehicle and to the individual parts. In Pinnacle Pro, we can attach pictures just to the vehicle itself. We can see our stock ticket record information here and edit it as well, as well all of our common option codes. We can actually see what our bidder did, and they bid the vehicle in BidBuddy to see all the statuses and the conditions. Our bid summary is there to let us know what the value of the parts are and what the suggested bid price was and what we actually bid on the vehicle. Another great new feature that is our Comp9 integration. You may have seen the separate video on this. So Comp9 gives you the actual manufacturer's build sheet for each individual vehicle. It covers most domestic vehicles right now. So 
this and with GMs is great because it tells you what all those three character codes mean. So let's say I want to know what kind of radio this had. I can just start typing radio and it'll find any description with the radio. AM, FM, stereo, CD player. So I didn't know what kind of wheel it had. You know, it's a 16 by 6.5 aluminum wheel. So this is a great, powerful search tool to look at everything on there. Even gives you the build date in some cases and the trim levels and all that good stuff for you. So that also shows you the cotton mine on the handheld I didn't show you. Uh, you can go to special pretty much any time and say view the cotton mine report. And you can do the same filtering. And we can see the wheel on this car here is a 15 by 6.5 steel wheel. So that's all on the handheld as well with Comp9 integration. Check out our separate video for more information about that. So we'll go back over here. We'll take a look at this wheel right here. We've got a 560 wheel in enabled here. So we can see that our bid buddy did say this was a good wheel and it had a grade A status. Uh, did not show an interchange number, which means the bidder did not choose the individual interchange. But if I go to something like the engine assembly, We'll say that the bid status did say good, grade A, and our interchange number here is turned green to let us know that it's matching the interchange number that the inventory person selected. So the two are in agreement. If it didn't match, it would turn that red. You can also see the price that the bid buddy used, the actual price the bid buddy figured on this part, as well as the suggested price as well. I'm gonna go back to this wheel though. So we've got this wheel. Uh, we can attach pictures of the wheel if we'd like because we're in PowerLink here. So let's say if we got another picture, we've got this iFi card that we can use for pictures on our camera. So that will get attached to this wheel as it gets uploaded. We can see our BidBuddy history and pricing right from within FDR directly from our BidBuddy database. We can see all the parts we have in stock, all these wheels we have in stock. We can see all of our apps partners, our auction parts and pricing service, all of our buddies that we have in BidBuddy that we're sharing our data with. This actually shows us the, the actual average sales price or standard prices they have stored for these parts in their system. What's great about apps is that you get to see the pricing that they have stored in their system, not only if they have it in stock, but if they've ever priced it in the past or sold it in the past. So that's a great little uh, benefit there as well. As well as our apps inventory gives you a quick look right into all of our trading partners, all of our bid, uh, our bid uh, buddies that we have that are, we're sharing data within apps. Our bid history lets us know every time we've seen this wheel in bid buddy and if the car was, was a pre-bid, you know, all that good stuff. We can also see the image of the wheel. This is pulled right off the cloud, so there's no reason to update each individual FGR machine. That's pulled right off the internet automatically just like the interchange applications is pulled off the internet as well. So it'll be a little bit easier to update interchange. All you have to do is update the interchange and the handheld, but not on the FDR stations, which will be nice. And as well as the Cotline report that we showed you there earlier. So that is some great features that we've added into uh, the final desktop review. And I'll show you real quick to our loose parts. We've got some changes in loose as well. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this vehicle. And we're gonna switch over to loose parts. And we'll look up a stock number. Let's take a look at uh, this Beetle, this 01 Beetle. And we've got all these parts. Let's say we were going to crush this Beetle. We didn't like it anymore. I can now say special and I can say bulk delete. And we'll say yes. And it will delete all those parts when it gets uploaded. So this is a great way to search by location perhaps. And let's say the whole shelf went in the, went in the scrap pile. You can delete whole shelves or whole stock numbers at a single time. You can also move uh, as well, move those parts. Let's take a look at this uh, Civic here. And if I go into, let's take a look at this engine assembly on the Civic. When we're inventorying parts or looking at parts on the handheld and loose, we can also see our standard price from our inventory system because we have BidBuddy integration now. It's pulling this price from our BidBuddy database and as well as our bid buddy history and the APU history as well is all integrated here too. So that's some great uh, new features in our in, in our loose parts in Inventory Buddy. And after we get done with that, we also have an FDR for loose now as well. So after we get done with those parts, we can upload uh, those changes into loose FDR here. So here's all the parts that we've worked with on the handheld that we've exported. 
let's say that we didn't want to uh, add this part anymore. I can actually just uncheck that. And now this part will not get added to our inventory system. But I can go into the part. And this is the same screen that we're using in full FDR. And so we can change our price. We can access our bidding history, our apps partners. We can access the interchange images for wheels, wheel covers, and front end assemblies. We can look at our interchange applications. All of that good stuff is right there for you. And there is even a report that you can print. It's a commonly requested feature in the past is to be able to track what changes were made in loose parts. So that is a quick overview, a quick 11 minute overview of our inventory version five enhancements. Uh, we are in beta right now. We do hope to be in full release mode by the end of the month. So keep your eyes peeled. If you're really interested in the beta, please do let support know and we'll see if we can squeeze you into the beta program. Otherwise, have a great day and thank you very much.